Alert, alert, alert. We got a lunatic alert. Thank you for tuning in. We are live, late to work. Today we are going into the Lori Daybell and uh, Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell uh, case files. They're on trial for murder, triple murder. She murdered her two children. Um, they also conspired to murder Chad's ex-wife and she killed her ex-husband definitely that's to ask them so many questions that need answers Lori nate eaton with east idaho news can you tell me where your kids are where are your kids no comment. her kids have been missing for four months comment they've been missing for four months you have nothing to say you're over here in hawaii where are your children yeah why don't you just give us a comment just tell us where they are Chad, where are Lori's kids? What? That Chad guy is a real creep. What happened to Tammy, Chad? Can you tell us what happened to Tammy? Why have you guys been in Hawaii for so long? All right, guys, and here is where her kids were. Confirming they are the remains of 17-year-old Tylee Ryan and her brother, 7-year-old J.J. Vallow, discovered during a search at Chad Daybell's home, their mother's new husband. Yeah, I mean, that's where her kids were the whole time. No wonder why uh, she didn't want to tell them where the, where her kids were. Um, okay, so today I, I'm going over um, the incidents and kind of uh, some interrogation video. Um, the trial did start the, uh, it's a couple days ago, but uh, I might jump into some trial coverage. Um, they will not allow cameras in the court but they are, there's audio. So I have all the audio of all the um, trial so far, all the testimony so far. Um, so here, you want to see something, something creepy. So here, her, her husband, her ex-husband, Charles, um, was shot and killed by uh, Lori's brother, Alex Cox. Um here is body cam of Charles saying his kids are in danger. In six days, okay. Um, How long have you been trying? Two days. In touch with my kids. How old are your kids? He said I can't get in touch with my kids. Okay. Um, How long have you been trying? Two days. Okay. But she. Little does this poor guy know his kids are, you know, gone. Lost her mind. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to say it. We're LDS. She thinks she's a resurrected being and a and a a god. And remember the hundred forty four thousand. She's come. Jesus is coming next year. She took all the money out of her bank account today. My truck has gone from the airport. She went to the airport and got it. It's sad because that guy's dead now. Um, here is. Here is um here is basically this is this is look at this is her calling his life insurance right after he's dead. Sure. It is number. Sure. It is Are you calling in reference to a death claim? Yes. Okay, one moment please. May I have the name of the insured? L. Charles Vallow. And who am I speaking with? This is Lori Vallow. Trying to collect that money. Trying to collect that bread. So, there's so many people that have died in this case. Here's a little timeline I have. Uh, it's not a great one, so... We got February 2019, Charles Vallow's fears. Um, uh, let's see. A death investigation. So 2000, July 2019, that's where Charles Vallow was killed by uh, Lori's brother, Alex Cox. September 2019, Lori Vallow moved closer to Chad Daybell's. She relocated her kids to Rexburg, Idaho. Lori's brother, Alex Cox, moved into the same apartment. September 8th, 2019, Tylee Ryan vanishes. 
That's her her daughter. September 9th, 2019. The morning after Tylee disappears, investigators say Alex Cox's cell phone GPS placed him in Chad Daybell's backyard, which is where the children were found. September 22nd, 2019. J.J. Vallow disappears. The day after J.J. was last seen, investigators say Alex Cox's cell phone showed him that Cox returned to Chad Daybell's backyard. That's where um, that's where both bodies were found. October 19th, 2019, another death. Um, this is the death of Tammy Daybell. That's Chad's w- wife, ex-wife. November 5th, Chad and Lori get married. So both of their spouses die uh, earlier that year. Chad's wife, Tammy, died in October. November 5th, they're getting married. Not even two weeks later. That's insane. Then the kids are missing. So now they're looking for the kids. Um, December, Lori and Chad traveled back to Hawaii. And that's where you... um. That's where that um, video footage I played at the beginning of them asking, where are your kids? Where are your kids? That's where that was at because they were in Hawaii. Um, All right, let's see what else we got. Here is a creepy phone call. So Lori told the police that her friend Melanie had JJ. You had to think of my welfare if you love me. I do, and I did exactly what I felt the Lord was instructing me to do. And I appreciate you, and I love you. And I've never do anything to harm you. And you can have all of this confirmed to you by the Lord. I have. And my my conscience is clear. I feel very understanding what's really going on, Lori. And I believe that... That's Chad. Creepy Chad. I believe that you have been very deceived by Satan. I believe that he has tricked you. And I just... I don't believe that what you're doing is correct. I just don't. I mean, Tammy dies, and then your husband died, and then he's, and then he's missing. It just doesn't sound like God's plan to me. It just sounds. It gives me a gut feeling. Like in my gut, it feels weird. It doesn't feel right. I don't have peace about it. I never have felt 100% peace about it. I always felt like a little weird in my stomach about all. Her friend Melanie is calling her out for all the discrepancies. All these things. You know me, Mel. You know me. This does not sound like you. This sounds like you've been influenced by somebody dark who wants you to believe. That was why she killed her kids is because her kids were dark. They were dark souls. Dark things and have fear and have fear of the all right, so I have a few more phone calls. Um, um, uh, one second. I told the police why he was with me. I just needed to have somebody so I wouldn't have to tell them where he really was. Why did you tell him JJ was with me? I just needed somebody to tell him where he was so I didn't have to tell him where where he was. That's sketchy. All right. So here's a Melanie, the same gal, talking to Chad Dable on the phone. They played this in court. Hello, sweet Melanie. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Hello, sweet Melanie. Fucking weirdo. Hey, Lori. Hi. Hey, let me put on speaker. Oh, okay. All right. We're enough with the phone. <laughs> How are you guys? We're okay. How are you doing, babe? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. I was wondering, where, where are you guys? Where are you? We're just hanging out. Hanging out? <laughs> are, you, are you an item? We're just hanging out. Idaho? We're no. in Idaho. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to ask you a question, if you don't mind, Lori. Yeah, um, I want to know, um, you remember we talked about JJ going to Case House, and you told me they went there, and now he's not there? 
was wondering what happened. Well, I had to move him somewhere else because of her actions. So was she was she doing something? Like was she trying to come get him or something, or like trying to kidnap him? Well, she's yeah, she said that lots of times before, but um. I just can't wrap my head around how the fact that you think, how do you think that your ki- you're going to be able to just get rid of your kids and no one's going to question you? I don't understand that. Okay, it's one thing to be fucking crazy enough to kill your kids, but it's another thing to think that you can just go about your life and no one's going to question you. I mean, I don't, I, I, I can't, I can't understand that. Okay. I, well, when, you know, when I asked Chad the other day, I was like, hey, um, you know, where, where is JJ? And he said, for my security, he didn't want me to know. So is there a reason I should be in danger to know where he is? <laughs> the sad thing is that that couple sitting in the back there with the masks on, um, that is JJ Vallow's biological grandparents. They're the ones that filed the missing uh, child complaint. And just what they're going through that's it's terrifying no it's nobody it's his danger it's the danger that there's people after me okay oh there's people so, after you. if you knew that puts you in a danger <laughs> if i told you i'd have to kill you that's what he just that's basically what he just pulled if you knew it would put you in danger well just in a bad position yeah, a bad position. everybody if they don't know anything then they don't have to Say they know. Right, so you're just worried. Okay. Um, I'm just to keep him protected and... And keep you protected. And keep everybody else... We're keeping you protected by lying. I was afraid that he... um, That I could be in danger. Like you're... You know, like I don't... Like if I knew... Like how could that hurt me? I don't understand how that could hurt me if I knew where he was. I'm just not telling anybody so that nobody has to say where he is. I'm just not telling anybody because he's buried in Chad's backyard. Is or get questioned to where he is so I can keep him as safe as possible. Yeah. Um, okay. I hope. Well, I hope that he's okay. I hope you guys are okay. I did have a question. I asked Al at one point, your brother, um, if. Um, if I wanted to know, you know, um, like where he was, and he said I did not want to know, and that he could not be found. So what does that mean? Me I don't gone. know why he would say that, but it's the same story. Like I, yeah. I, I, I don't even want Al to know. I don't want anybody to know, so that nobody has to be worried about it. I mean, nobody has to be. Yeah questioned about it so he can be safe yeah so are you i mean are you how, how long are you gonna be away for like how i mean are you ever gonna be able to come out and come back to society again or are you gonna keep you know like come back i mean like what does that look like i will do whatever the lord needs me to do she, she just blames her dumb actions on the lord don't 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 blame this on god and I, I just don't understand how these people are calling her saying, where are your kids? And she just she just acts like, why are you asking me this? Like, how do you think you can just get rid of your kids and move on with your life without anybody asking? Every day, so okay. I just wondered if I was ever going to see you again. Absolutely, you will. Okay, so that phone call goes on for a little while. Next, I want to play a uh, this is a phone call of Lori and Chad. So Lori ends up getting arrested for child abandonment. Um, and so when she's in jail, there's a phone call of her and Chad and the police are searching Chad's property at that moment. And that's when they find the bodies. Here's Chad and Lori talking on the phone and you can hear the fear in Chad's voice. Thank you for your Are you okay? So they're searching for the house again? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Mark, 
companies will be talking to you. Okay. Well, are they in the house? No, they're out on the property. No, they're out on the property, and that's where they found the bodies that day, about an hour after this phone call. Are they seizing stuff again? They're searching. They're searching. Yeah. You're scared now. Can't talk very good, can you, bud? Glad you called. There you are. disgusting disgusting human being okay so uh, i'm just going to play this one more time this is what they found in his yard that day confirming they are the remains of 17 year old tylee ryan and her brother seven year old jj vallow discovered during a search at chad daybell's home their mother's new husband that's what they found that's why he was a little nervous on that phone call that piece of shit had those kids buried in his backyard. And here is, here's a phone call. So Lori's ex-husband, Charles Vallow was shot and killed by Lori's brother, Alex Cox. Basically they set him up and shot and killed him. Here's Chad calling the more uh, mortician uh, wanting to cremate the body. How can I help you today? Um, we just had a death in the family, and we really don't... And it's funny, he, he you can hear him lie about his last name. He's lying about it. They didn't think they would ask for all this info. I don't want anything but a cremation, and then just... I don't want anything but a cremation. Quick. Gotta get rid of that body. Send the crew names to a family in Louisiana. Just a simple, no, nothing other than a cremation, and sending him to the family for a service in Louisiana. So is there any way to know a ballpark price on that? Yes. And I'm sorry for the loss. Um, thank you. So creepy. Okay. Let me transfer you over to the director who can assist you with the pricing. Uh, what is your name, please? It is Chad Daybell. How do you spell the last name, please? D-A-B-A-L. Dayball. He, he, he spelt it wrong. Dayball. How are you related to the person who passed? I'm his nephew. And then also, this is for the Valley of the Sons in Chandler, correct? Yes. Thank you. Um, yes, okay. he lives there in Chandler. I live in Iowa, so I'm just oh. trying to help out. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. your uncle's name for reference, please. He is John Dayball. Just makes up a name. Well, yeah. D-A-B-A-L. Yeah, this is when he was asking about cremation for um for Charles Vallow. Yep. John. Uh -huh. Do you have a middle name? Myron. M Y R O N. Yeah. And Chad, what is your phone number in case we get disconnected? Yeah, he's he's a terrible liar. He's the cre he's such a creepy little motherfucker. I'm sorry for my language, but this one really gets me a little bit heated. Um. All right. So. Um, that's basically what I got for all that. Um, so now I'm going to jump into, um, the interrogation of Lori Vallow after the death of Charles. And you could just see her demeanor. She's laughing. She's giggling. Your brother just killed your ex-husband who is only your ex-husband of a, of a couple of weeks or whatever. I don't know the exact amount, but not long. And you're over here giggling. Not going to do that. So when you initially moved, he had said he was going to buy you a house. So you moved here 
with your yeah, kids. Yeah, he was going to rent us a house. And so we moved. All my family lives here. So right. we lived here for a long time. Okay. And then he moved us to Houston. Okay. And we were there with my son. He was out of school. He didn't have any of his, like, services, his DDD, his yeah. anything. He, like, ripped him out of school and said, we're moving. Okay. And I didn't go with him at first. And he took him. And I let him take him, uh -huh. and I didn't file anything or whatever. And then he filed something against me and said, I'm only going to get supervised visits because I'm crazy and blah, 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 you know, the story. And so I just didn't talk to him for, like, 30 days and uh -huh. let him take care of him and let him see what I've been doing for yeah. the past seven years because men need to do that. You know, I have five kids. Yeah. I have grown kids. I have grandkids. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay, so uh, there was not much to that one, but oh, she's acting like mother of the year right there. How could he file? How could he dare file uh, supervised visits on me? I've I got grandkids. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to read them to say, yeah. but he's always mad at me, right? Okay. And he doesn't want a divorce, but I don't like him and don't want to deal with him. So that's just how it is. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, he doesn't want a divorce, so I just uh, shot and killed him. So we married for 14 years, we dealt with him for 14 years, and him being horrible to her. Like, he gets in huge fights with her. Yeah, just nonchalant. Yeah. Nonchalant. Um, so this morning he comes back in. And he comes back in, I wouldn't give him his phone. He was screaming at me to give him his phone. He was very worried about whatever was on his text mm -hmm. that he did not want me to see. And... So I was just holding it there, and he was screaming at me, and I was kind of walking towards around that. Why do you have his phone if you, you know what I mean? He's there to pick up, he's there to pick up JJ and take him to school. Why do you have his phone? House with it, so he couldn't get it. He's like reaching for it and stuff like that. And so Tylee came out of her room upset, mm -hmm. and she had a bat, and she told him to leave her mother alone. Uh man, why she she's running around the house with the guy's phone and that's when that's when her brother shot and killed him. Okay. Yeah. He had, he was a base, professional baseball player. Okay. <laughs> so I don't believe for a minute that he had a bat. I mean, I guess I, I believe Tylee actually said that as well that Charles had a bat, but or Tylee brought a bat out to to protect her mom. And somehow he ended up with it. It wasn't a good idea for Tyler to get out of the house. <laughs> Probably not the. Best. I mean, he played semi pro. Yeah, when he was young. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then I was kind of turned around, and we were all right there in that room, except for the kids had been outside by that time, and I heard the gunshot. Mm -hmm. And stop being so nice. All right. And I heard, and I heard the gunshot. And all another one of my dark souls is gone, just like I wanted. Come back in, maybe, uh, but I didn't. I was like, I just have to get him to school. Okay. And, and this is her talking about how she just got in the car, took off, and took the kids to school as her ex-husband was laying in the house dead. And call, please, come back. You know. Whatever. Did anybody say any? Did you, you or your brother say anything at some point about calling the police or calling nine one one? Do you remember? Yeah, he called me. Okay. And he said, "Are you taking Gigi to school?" Uh -huh. And I said, "Yeah, we need to call the police." And he okay. said, "Okay." Oh. Um. Yeah, we probably should call the police. That wouldn't. I don't think that'd be a bad idea when you just, you know, your brother just shot and killed your ex husband. Okay, so. That's all the footage I have for the actual incident, the interrogation, and some of the news, um, news, um, or you know, some of the news articles and some of the, um, whatever the footage of basically people asking, Where, where are your kids? Why are you in Hawaii? Where are your kids? So, if you haven't seen that, um, go check that out at the beginning of the video. Now, I'm going to jump into a little bit of the, um, um, a little bit of the trial testimony I have. So they're not allowing cameras into the courtroom, but they are, there is audio. Um, oh, she went through the Burger King drive through on her way to take her kids to school. That's what, um, 
That's what one of uh, our viewers just said. She went through the Burger King drive through on the way as well, on the way to school. That's insane. I can I get a um, can I get a Whopper with medium fry and uh, another dead ex husband, please? Oh, I mean what? Yeah, yeah. These these guys, these two are just so creepy.